Hello, everybody. Thank you so much to Emily Wiseman for joining us today, one of the stars of the upcoming horror thriller movie, The Offering. Thank you so much, Emily, for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure to talk to you today. Thank you. Tell us a bit, what's been the main element in, in Claire's character and the movie in general that fascinates you the most and, and drew you to join The Offering? Oh, my gosh. Um, I think when I first read the script, so what really attracted me to the role and, and the project the most was um, I personally don't like horror. I'm, I'm like the biggest scaredy cat. And so um, the, the challenge of actually working and filming in horror kind of fascinated me. And then also the, the, the script was so um, rich and it was so just full of heart and, and meaning. And I find that really rare in, in horrors. Um, and so that, that really kind of drew me in. Um, yeah, it drew me in the most. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say that I, I totally feel you when you say that you're not a, a horror fan. I'm actually an, not an horror fan uh, at all. And no. so I, I also get the challenge that you found in, in, in experiencing this kind of um, work in horror movies. Yeah, it was, it was really, I, I think what was like the most fascinating as well is uh, obviously it, it's very different filming it, but I also had the opportunity to sort of like confront those things that scare me. You know, I really got to pick mm -hmm. apart um, my own psychology when it comes to fear and kind of uh, use that uh, throughout filming. So I really enjoyed that aspect of it as well. And since we're talking about psychology and all the, the work that's behind a character, um, in your opinion, where are you and Claire most similar and where are you two most different as human beings? Oh, that is a really good question. Um, I think I think we're most similar in probably our and it, and it's probably a character fault in some aspects, but uh, in our in our need to want to make things good and right for everybody around us I think Claire has a very she's very open-hearted she's innately curious um and so I think almost to a fault uh that she kind of puts everyone else before herself and ultimately leads her down um a path that isn't ideal which for those that are going to watch the film will soon find out um but I think where we differ is I'd like to think that I'm a little bit more, um, I would say I'm a little feistier than Claire. Like she's very polite and she is very nice to everybody. I don't know if I would put up with a lot of the things that she kind of puts up with, especially when it comes to, you know, um, some of the, the betrayal and lies that she kind of finds out about her husband art. I'd probably have a few things to say, um, <laughs> but yeah, I think that would probably be it. And to all the fans that are looking forward to watching this movie, and how would you describe the offering if you had just like three words? Three words. Mm. Thrilling. Exhilarating. I'm going to have five words, like <laughs> scary as hell. That's a great pic. <laughs> And since we were talking about also challenges in the work, working on this movie, in your opinion, what's been the biggest challenge in portraying Claire? The biggest challenge for me in portraying Claire was actually just um, a lot of my scenes um, are just me and the demon. I don't necessarily have the pleasure of working opposite, you know, the other um, the other actors as as much as they do they do each other. So I think the biggest challenge was just the technical aspects of horror. It's extremely technical and the stakes are so high and emotionality is so high. Um, and so kind of using my imagination to create, to create this kind of demon and work opposite something that doesn't exist was probably the most challenging for me. I guess it was really in the most interesting also for you to to work on your acting skills while filming this kind of scenes 
100%. I think I, I've, I've said this a few times now, but I think like horror or, you know, a, a lot of other genres like adventure or sci-fi or fantasy, it's just um, you really get to exercise your 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 craft because purely for that reason, it's a, you're using your imagination, the stakes are so high, the emotions are so high, and then you also have the the circumstances and the drama of the story. And so you kind of get to do it all in that sense. And what can you tease about Claire's journey throughout the whole movie, how she um, relates to the other characters and what can we expect from her? You can expect a woman that, I don't know if I can, I'm like, I don't want to give too much away, but the other characters have a lot of other tools at their disposal, at their disposal to, uh, defeat this demon and Claire really just has her the primal instinct of a mother to protect her child and so you kind of get to witness a woman um going through that journey and and on her own um so it's kind of exciting yeah I totally feel that and totally um talking about the environment on set uh, how would you describe your experience working on the offer and filming this um, this movie? And do you have any fun anecdotes to share with us about your experience <laughs> with the cast and the crew? Oh, I almost need like Oliver, the director, and I also need my um, Nick, who plays my husband in the film, to, to be a part of this as well. But honestly, filming, my favorite thing about... Um, about what I do is being on set and you get thrown together with a bunch of strangers from all corners of the world and you're all working together to kind of uh, execute this one thing. And what ultimately happens is you create this beautiful family and we shot this during COVID. So things were really difficult. I almost couldn't get out of the country uh, from Australia to make it to Bulgaria. And so that aspect of it kind of brought us even closer together. So we had an amazing, um, amazing time. But I think the main, first of all, Nick, who plays my um, husband is, he's British and he gave me a lot of shit throughout filming. Love him to death, but he definitely kept things exciting. I wish he was here. You'll have to meet him um, <laughs> one day. But um, I think one of the anecdotes to share is that I remember when I, when I first arrived, um, our director, Oliver Park, he was like, he sat me down and he was like, how do you feel? And you would probably resonate with this because you're also a scaredy cat, but he was like, how do you feel about me possibly just scaring you throughout filming? He's like, I might just hide in a cupboard. I might just be around a corner. And he's like, I think it'll help. And I I, being like the people pleaser, was like, yes, I think that's a great idea. Let's do that. It wasn't a good idea. <laughs> um, and I was definitely walking around set being like, where is he? Like, where is he hiding? Um, but I guess it worked from that from that standpoint. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. And now two fun questions that we always ask yes. people we're interviewing and considering we're talking about the offering there on the offering universe um if you could choose any other character on the movie apart from claire um a character that you you would have loved to play if you could which one would it be and why um definitely hamish played by paul k um he i mean i don't know if i could uh do it as well as he does but he basically plays this orthodox jewish just rock star uh, who works in the morgue um, and he's he's just brilliant I think that's a really fun character yeah and another little qu fun question um, did, did you take anything from set to remember this experience on the offering any prop or any piece of costume <laughs> you know what and it's so not exciting I've been asked this question before and generally I do like to sort of take like a little you know memento but it was snowing the whole time we were there and I stole the snow boots. <laughs> That's, That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and throwing back instead to the origins of your career as an actress, how yeah. did the passion for acting come about in your life? 
Oh my gosh. That's such a good question. I, um, for me, it started in high school. I, it was a really tumultuous time for me and the, the drama room was kind of like my safe haven. And I was kind of experiencing things in my life that I couldn't put words to, or I didn't have the life experience to, to, um, sort of make sense of it all. And I kind of found characters like myself in the plays that I performed and in the stories I read and my passion, um, kind of grew from there. Uh, and now what I love the most is that I get to sort of share that with with an audience and an audience gets to come and see my work and hopefully walk away feeling a little more themselves or experiencing parts of themselves that maybe they're not able to, you know, in the real world. So. Yeah. And among all the roles that you had the chance to play so far in your career, yeah. is there any particular role that you're most fond of? Yeah, I, um, my first sort of, breakout role was in a film called Winchester and that was with um, Dame Helen Mirren and Jason Clark and it was a period piece set in the 1900s and the costumes were grand and the sets were grand and I remember sitting uh, around the table on our first day doing a table read and Dame Helen Mirren was sitting next to me and um, she I remember her saying to one of the directors Uh, Peter and Michael Spierig saying, look, you don't have to worry about me. I will always be on time. I will always show up. Um, you can count on me kind of thing. And I remember being really uh, kind of impacted by that experience. And so that would probably be my favorite. Absolutely. I guess so. And now our final question, if you had to give some advice to young people or people in general that wants to pursue an acting career <laughs> or in entertainment in general, yeah. what kind of advice would you give them? Oh my gosh. Um, just have patience and relish the, the journey rather than the end goal because ultimately who you become Uh, through the pursuit of the goal is actually a really beautiful thing. And the goal is constantly changing. So just have patience and grace and compassion for yourself um, and just keep putting one foot in front of the other is what I would say. Thank you so much, Emily. It's been really a pleasure to have you here and to chat with you. It's been amazing. Thank you so much. I so appreciate you taking the time to chat to me. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time and chat with us. Let's remind people that the offering is coming out next January 13th in yes. the US. Yes. And we're really looking forward to watching the movie. I think that would be really an, um, an amazing experience Thank to you. watch. <laughs> Thank you. And also it's coming out in the US in theaters, but you can also find it on all streaming platforms on the 13th, uh, Friday the 13th as well. Great. <laughs> So um, thank you so much again and have a good day. Thank you. See you thank later. You. Bye. Bye.